Gramago Kionkorla, uh, Taoiseach, I'd just like to raise with you today the issue of special education provision in Cork. Um, I know that you would have a long history in terms of delivering for special education provision across the country uh, as, as previous member for our Minister for Education. Taoiseach, I'd like to ask you in relation to Cork City Council have identified a site that is suitable for a future school in the Glanmire area for special education provision. I would just urge you, um, given that we have such challenges in Cork locally, that that site would be looked upon favourably and progressed expeditiously as possible. Thank you. A lot of questions there. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the more appropriate I would have thought to the Minister for Education as well. Sure. I'm multitasking all the time. Um, Deputy O'Reilly uh raised the issue in terms of um, the free school books. Um, look, I, I genuinely would need to talk more about this, if I'm honest. I think targeting of resources is still very important um, in terms of children who need additional supports in socioeconomic disadvantaged areas. It's the old argument about universality of provision versus targeted provision to those who need it the most and those on, on the lowest of incomes. And given the, the, the multiple needs in our education system, uh, I have no issue with increasing the number of schools, but I think there is, there is a value in saying around the thresholds and can we look after other, other children uh, on other fronts as well in terms of the variety of supports that we require from therapies right across. Uh, but I, I'm open to engagement on it. Uh, Deputy Gannon raised the issue of the close contact tracing as did Deputy Boyd Barrett. I mean, public health advice is saying this. Government isn't making this up. Deputy Murphy, sorry, raised that, sorry. Um, and uh, the clear explanation um, is in terms of the, the testing that has been done, uh, relatively low levels overall in terms of school children, around 6%. Um, and the public health have advised, and to be fair to the Minister of Education and the Department of Education, they've adhered to public health advice all along the way in respect of, of the, this classroom of children, and are certainly not risking um, Children, um, in, in children's health um, in terms of any actions um, that they take. And on the air monitors, again, that arose from a special advisory uh, group that advised the Department of Education in respect of um, ventilation in schools and the utilisation of air monitors. They're not static, they're mobile. Um, and it's about having, I think, up to 10, uh, sorry, 25,000 air monitors would have been provided to the system, uh, which is quite significant in itself. Um, as part of the broader return to school um, protocols. Uh, Deputy Boyd Barrett, again, I, I, I've given my views already in terms of it's a clunking college and, and, and the government does have lean on properties and the, and the physical buildings in respect of investments made in voluntary secondary schools. Uh, the Deputy Barry raised the issue of the abolition of the leaving certificate. I don't agree with the abolition of the leaving certificate overnight. Uh, at all. I believe in reform of it. I think there has been reform on an ongoing basis, which has been very, which has dramatically changed. The Leaving Cert we sat in 20 years ago bears no comparison with the Leaving Cert of today. Um, and I think it, it can. Excuse me. I'm just, I'm just testing you, Deputy Lahart. Did you do honours maths? And you're alert. Did you do honours maths? <laughs> Deputy Conway Walsh. Um, but sorry, the open access to college again. I mean, you need to think through that. I don't agree with that. That would create mayhem overnight. We don't have the capacity to do that, nor is it necessarily the right thing to do. We need to provide a wide provision over time that people can access courses and modules and so on. And yes, take the, the urgency out of the Leaving Cert, that it's to be all and end all, but rather create the roadmap for, for young people, uh, that there is a route to where you want to go through the variety of colleges, from further education to higher education uh, to modular-based education. That is the approach that we need to do. Um, the, the, um, I've met with the Minister for Higher Education recently, Deputy Conway Walsh, in respect of the Cassell's report, um, and it has been given active consideration by the Minister, and he's engaging with other ministers and government as well in respect of how we roll that out and deal with that now. Um, and obviously there's estimates and, and budgetary context to that. Um, the, in terms of Great Colossia, again, I don't believe it's because the government or the education department over the last 20 odd years, I mean, 20, 20 is on my mind today, in terms of Great Colossia, it's not all blink and bluff. There are genuine issues there, but I will uh, ask for a report on that from the department's building unit, and I'll come back to the deputy on it. Deputy Cahill Crow, uh, I'm, I think, I'm not sure whether the schools have applied 
um, to the department or not, but I think you should engage with the Minister for Education. I think you've made a very fair point in terms of the broader issue around the town itself and the two schools needing either expansion or maybe a new plan for post-primary provision in, in Shannon itself. Um, I will uh, work with Deputy O'Sullivan. Um, we've already, as you know, opened, uh, there's been two new special schools this year, one in Cork and one in, um, I think it's Dublin, Dublin West, I think, or, um, as well. And I think it's, the, the, the sites are crucial. City Council have made a site available. And I think, yes, we should push very hard with the Minister for Education okay, we, to require we have that to site for 10, another special please. school. I've dealt with Deputy Murphy in terms yeah, of... Yeah, we have to go yeah. to question 10.